Good evening and welcome to Ask the Rev Wednesdays. Apologies for the late posting of that. It is my fault. Uh, but I'm Marshall Brown, pastor of Grace Presbyterian Church, and Ask the Rev is where you submit questions and I do my best to answer them in a three and a half minute or so format. Uh, there have been several questions around the issue of race, which I'm not going to try and answer tonight. I actually did try to answer them on a video and I just wasn't satisfied. It's just not the form. We're really thinking about how to answer this important and timely uh, topic of race in our culture. Big question being asked right now, um, how to deal with it. Uh, we know one thing for sure that we are going to be doing is we're going to have a book study on on race. Uh, Pastor Nick will be leading that. So if you're interested in that question, I highly encourage you to participate. And we're also just thinking about other ways. We're also this Sunday starting a study of the gospel, uh, the book of James, I should say. The gospel according to James, you could call it that. And uh, the issue doesn't come up directly, but kind of indirectly. So it'll be in some of the sermons as it has already. Uh, but do uh, be looking for uh, that book study and maybe some other ways that we can talk about this very important and timely topic of race. But a three and a half minute segment is not it. But I did get the question, uh, in light of all the pastoral flameouts on the last couple of years on the major stage, John Ortberg recently in California, formerly of Willow here, uh, sadly Bill Hybels, James McDonald here in Chicago, uh, Mark Driscoll not too long ago and others. Uh, how are pastors in general and even specifically Marshall, uh, you kept accountable? I'm not sure I trust pastors is what some person uh, in our church uh, said to me. And I appreciate it. I appreciate that, especially given the national news. And so let me say several things. One, uh, are the relationships uh, within our staff, particularly my relationship with Pastor Nick, uh, but also our session, our group of elders, uh, their charge is uh, to work alongside me. And one of the things they do is, is uh, attempt to kind of care for me and keep uh, Nick and me uh, accountable. Also, I just came from a Presbytery meeting. A Presbytery is a gathering of all the churches, the ruling and teaching elders from around our area, from around Chicagoland. And uh, that's to my ultimate formal authority is, is to them. And uh, we even talked today about a couple of pastors and accountability in their situations in other churches uh, at our Presbytery meeting today. One of the most important things that I've done in my pastoral ministry, and I'd like you to know about it actually, is a cohort I'm a part of with four other pastors uh, where we speak uh, weekly, uh, at, at least monthly, uh, often weekly, we're on a text chain. I just got a text from one of them just today. Uh, we get together a couple of times a year and we ask each other uh, some of the hardest and most personal questions. In many ways, they are the, uh, the men in my life to whom I can say anything and everything. And so that's a very important uh, life-giving source for me. It's also a very important part of accountability. It's a real question. I appreciate the question and the honesty that this is a day and age where uh, it's not easy to trust anyone and, and maybe even particularly pastors with all the flame out. So, uh, but that's a little stab at uh, the ways I'm trying to protect you and protect myself and my own family um, from those very real issues. So good question, pointed question. I appreciate it. Uh, Ask the Rev uh, Wednesdays. Thanks a lot. Have a good evening.